So, um, just a little bit of background. Would you care to say what your? Uh, Thank you. When did when do you believe that the occupation in Israel started? In forty eight or sixty seven? Forty eight. Okay. It's, it's the longest occupation in the world, but I'm, I'm not going to argue numbers. It's too long, right? It's uh, this is this is the longest occupation in the world, and people are suffering. I mean, I've been to the West Bank and Gaza twice, and so I've seen myself what's going on. And what do you believe has the solutions for for the current conflict? Well, I think uh, Israel has to um, uh, remove itself from uh, illegal settlements. And they're basically all illegal. They have to dismantle. I mean, the first thing is actually to drop the siege of Gaza. I mean, people are really, really suffering there, and uh, you can't even get basic necessities in it. And it, you know, it's to, to isolate people to that extent and to take away people's basic human rights is, to me, unconscionable. So, I mean, that's number one: is to stop the siege. And, and it seems like, I mean, it's ironic, but unfortunately, what happened with the first boat and the, and the, uh, the Turkish citizen and the Turkish. So what a long term a long term political political uh, agreement would would it go revert back to the green zone? Uh, I mean, or? you know what? I'm not I'm not someone who's going to negotiate that. Um, there will be people. If you were, let's well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that I'm I'm that enough knowledgeable. Um, I've seen what that green line is and how much land has been taken, and it seems to me that that's got to be the starting point. But you know, you're you're asking me very specific questions that I'm. I'm not someone who's there. I'm a politician in Canada who's demanding of our government that they do more to speak out and not not just capitulate to whatever Israel wants, right? So you know, you're, you're not but but you are you are supporting a boycott of Israel and divestment. No, I haven't actually uh, even gone that far. I mean, I, I you've got to understand that the I'm probably the strongest supporter in Parliament. Uh, there is virtually no information in the political arena or understanding about the BDS movement. People are actually afraid to speak out on this issue. So we have to understand that the political reality in Canada is, I think, worse than many other countries, where people who are, like elected people who are sympathetic, actually are afraid to speak out. And so the whole notion of a BDS, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited that it's grown so much in sort of a civil society, but in terms of the political arena, it's not even being debated. But, so, you are not necessarily for BDS, but you are for the movement? Yeah, I support what, what's going on, and we've got to somehow get it into the political arena. But but you don't but you don't necessarily if you don't necessarily support the BDS. Itself. I I think yeah personally I do, but it's not in the political arena. If it were in the political arena, you would be. Uh, you know what? I I really don't. I'm not happy with your questions. Like, don't pin it all on me. Oh, no, I'm uh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get 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 where you stand. Yeah. On this. Well, where I stand is is that. Somehow we have to make this issue uh, something that can be properly debated in the political arena because it's not, because of fear, um, because of self-censorship. And so what I've been trying to do is work within the parliamentary arena, but also with the community to try and open up that space. I mean, if I'm one of the people who's sort of most out there, most of my colleagues are not. Now what? So it's a matter of, I think, trying to bring those ideas and education about even what BDS is, because a lot of people don't even understand that, into the political arena. If we could do that, I would be, I, I think that would be a very good step forward. Now, why do you think there is so much fear uh, within the political arena on, bring, on the BDS issue? Well, because I think people are very worried about being uh, criticized. If, if you're anti, if you're, if you're perceived to be anti-Israeli occupation, then somehow you're also branded as being anti-Semitic. I mean, to me, it's sort of a new, new McCarthyism that's taking place. Uh, I've spoken about this in our Canadian Parliament. Um, there's a there's a lot of uh, fear. Uh, people are, you know, don't feel comfortable speaking out. We've got to somehow, and maybe what's happened recently will help change that. But
but the, the political support in Canada has been very strong.